data at the core is the essence of everything we do. Numbers then translate into identifying where, what the needs are, what the material assistance is like, how to prioritize, etc. And that is where it's absolutely essential. And it starts with communities in the villages, and then it goes up all the way into the, <coughs> national, into the international level. So recognizing data is absolutely fundamental, hence Rapid Pro. My colleagues and I came to St. Vincent and the Greater Deans for a number of uh, reasons. And one of the ones is to understand and hear feedback from the response and have the opportunity to talk to beneficiaries and the communities as well as colleagues in the ministry to understand how things develop because it's, ex it's exceptionally important for us to, to also learn lessons from, from this, but also to strengthen the capacity of the government to be able to implement Rapid Pro and to follow through on monitoring and to see how that can then be used in, in, in the future. The Rapid Pro project assisted in delivering rapid and vital real-time information to and from the affected population. The information collected from the target groups can be used to provide life-saving services for those most in need in this crisis. It will enhance the utilization of data about the effects of the disaster on the local population by providing timely information to the general population. It would also help the exchange of information and coordination of the logistical aspect of the shelters with the partners. The provision of services and expertise to integrate Rapid Pro and social and mobile messaging services with local mobile operators is vital for St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the context of an emergency response. Today, we continue to process of, we continue the process of enabling stakeholders and state actors to be more equipped to collect data, collate and disseminate necessary data for programming, response design and other strategies for saving lives, especially in the events of natural disasters. My government is committed, sorry, my government is committed to improving the lives of all Vincentians. However, in order to make this effective in the presence of reliable, in order to make it effective, there must be a presence of reliable and accurate data. I wish to thank UNICEF for their support and wish all the participants two fruitful days as they do the working session with Rapid Pro. As the Minister with the responsibility of national mobilization, social development, gender, the family, persons with disability, youth, housing, and informal human settlement. And we have been able to accomplish much with the big ministry in a short space of time. I wish to say to you that the ministry in collaboration with NEMO and other entities, NGOs, FBOs, and CBOs were able to respond to the aftermath of the violent eruptions of La Sofre volcano in April last year. Now, this was not without its challenges, of course. Amongst those that challenges was the availability of specific type of data that would have provided more efficient guidance in the type of responses that were provided from the ministry. I am happy to note that with the support of UNICEF, we were able to gather further data for use in the response strategies being deployed during our response As I have been informed, this was done through the application known as Rapid Pro. 
I am further aware that this application has the capacity to not only collect data, but be able to assist in other areas of service delivery within the Ministry of National Mobilization. I am pleased that the team from UNICEF came, led by the Deputy Country Representative, Mr. Sullivan, who had to return earlier. And they chose to provide technicals, technical and hands-on support to my ministry and other stakeholders who would be able to deploy this application to help to mitigate the challenges we faced in the volcanic eruption. And not only the volcanic eruption, but we are an island that is prone to natural disasters. And Rapid Pro is not only an app that helps with volcanic eruption. Let me make that clear. It would also support us in case there are other emergencies and other disasters here on island. While I do not wish for us to experience any disaster of this magnitude, we as a people and ministry and government must be proactive in our response strategy going forward. I am therefore elated that today UNICEF is handing over Rapid Pro to us along with their pledge of continued development of the app and its deployment amongst the Vincentian population. So on behalf of the government and people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, let me say thank you, a heartfelt thank you for your continued support to the development of our landscape of this blessed island called Hiruna, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Today culminates a one-week visit of the team from UNICEF, which came to our shores to continue the process of technical enhancement to capacity building for the government and its stakeholders. The team whose main aim was to provide support to the Ministry of National Mobilization in their humanitarian response after the implementation of Rapid Pro, which was used to collect data and provide vital information from the internally displaced population in 2021. Specifically, the team examined the knowledge gaps and experiences of Rapid Pro by the key stakeholders. This handing over process is one that is built on continued support and investment by both the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and UNICEF as we continue to plan and be ready for eventualities of natural disasters and shocks that will affect the Vincentian public. I am pleased to state that the Ministry of National Mobilization will continue to dialogue and develop this process in the best possible way that will not only serve for data collection, but also to respond much more efficiently to you, the public. I wish to thank all who participated from the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Health, and NEMO, and the staff of the Ministry of National Mobilization. To the UNICEF team, I wish for this technical support to continue to build the capacities of this ministry and other stakeholders as we prepare to respond and to be proactive in our thrust to serve the Vincentian population. We thank you for your support through Rapid Pro and pledge our commitment to its continued use as long as it's technically possible. Oh, we are very honored to be here uh, to hand over uh, the application Rapid Pro to the Ministry of National Mobilization. Uh, this application has been deployed in St. Vincent uh, in response to the need of data uh, during the SVG volcano crisis uh, since last year. We just implemented a training of key staff uh, in St. Vincent to maintain this application. 
and at the end of this training, we recommend that uh, ministry allow uh, your um, staff to maintain the application, not only uh, in response to the volcano crisis, but also um, to prepare, to be prepared for the coming hurricane season. We think it's a key action to take and the application has shown all his features and his responsiveness for this kind of situation. During this training, uh, we interact with your staff and we also identified um, some needs to improve your communications and your interaction with your beneficiaries. And we think that Rapid Pro can be, let's say, a solution, uh, a, a very good solution to improve this interaction with the beneficiaries. And when I say interaction with beneficiaries, I'm talking about all the beneficiaries from all the services in your, your minister. So we have now to switch from an application to a more broad solution based on Rapid Pro. And um, the deployment of this solution um, should include the establishment of uh, a kind of task team uh, intersectoral task team and um, including all the other ministry who can benefit for this application and solution. UNICEF um, will be there to support technically and financially and make sure that we can hand over not only the application but all the solution uh, to your minister and to your country. Thank you again for this um, great opportunity uh, of working with you, and um, we hope we can um, benefit for your welcome all the time. Thank you very much. I would just want to provide for those persons who will not have had the opportunity to understand what we did for the two days of face-to-face -face training, just to give you a synopsis of what took place. One of the first things that we did is that in November of last year, due to COVID-19, the team wasn't able to come to do a face-to-face -face training. So we had four days of virtual training um, that eventually turned out to about six sessions. And then we had two days of face-to-face Monday and Tuesday of this week. And what we looked at is what exactly is Rapid Pro, the objectives. So we described what Rapid, Rapid Pro is and why it is important. We know how to use Rapid Pro and to be able to pitch Rapid Pro to persons who need to use that um, software. Then we went into strategizing the use of Rapid Pro. And there we saw how we can add value with Rapid Pro's implementation in a project or a program. We also conceptualize how Rapid Pro can be used as a communication channel to engage our beneficiary with uh, the persons here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and also being able to define Rapid Pro's implementation in a feasible way so that it's not overwhelming, so that person don't feel that is an added task that is given to them for them to, to try to do something that is there. Then we went into looking at the, a designing session and then we, went, we had a whole practical experience of walking through the implementation of Rapid Pro and how it can be a vital tool in what you do as a social ministry and also as, a, as part of the entire Vincentian public because we had, as indicated, the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education and NEMO. So how can we use that platform to engage our stakeholders and our beneficiaries in a more efficient way?